Huge issue that hit rural Michigan hard last winter. The skyrocketing price of heating homes with propane. A new lawsuit filed by Michigan's Attorney General against the state's biggest propane supplier, Amerigas, alleges price gouging. 24-Hour News 8's Ken Coker went to Hastings today to talk with a customer identified as a victim in the lawsuit. Connie Ryderink wants a refund after she says Amerigas gouged her for $1,000 a month last year to heat her home. Who can afford $1,000 a month? That's another house payment. <laughs> last winter was hard on just about everybody, especially so for Connie Ryderink. She has lupus, so cold air hurts. But she says propane gas prices got so high last year, $1,000 a month, up from $300 a month in previous winters, that she and her husband kept his thermostat at 63. That's painful. It makes all my joints hurt. I was wearing gloves in the house. So, you know, to try to function because, you know, and sitting under an electric blanket. She blames it on Amerigas, which she says upped her per gallon propane price to $4.44 by last February, up from $2.69 at the beginning of winter. She's among a handful of West Michigan residents identified in a lawsuit filed by Michigan's attorney general against Amerigas. The lawsuit says that complaints from customers were part of quote unquote systemic problems that Amerigas ignored. Amerigas has 200,000 residential customers across the state. You know, we could take it out of savings, but there are people out there that live month to month and there's no way they would have had to choose between heat or food. The AG made similar allegations against another propane gas company, Feral Gas, but that company agreed to a $100,000 settlement for 600 customers, about $167 each. This winter, the Rattering say they'll heat their home with propane from a co-op, which they say will be a lot cheaper. Near Hastings, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8. An Amerigas spokesperson refused to discuss the price gouging allegations, but tells us that the company is cooperating with the AG's office.